These two teams very familiar with each other. It's the Bears of Lenore Ryan and the North Georgia Saints, a rematch of the 2010 Dahlonega Southeast Super Regional. Bottom of the second inning on Friday night, Callie Fernandez will one-hop the fence in right field, playing Catherine Martin. Saints go on top one to nothing. A couple of batters later, it's Ansley Williams back at the top of the lineup card. She'll go into left field. North Georgia on top two to nothing now as we go to the Bottom of the third inning where the Saints would continue to swing the bats well. Sarah Johnson, right center field, home run. Saints on top by a trio, three to nothing on the solo blast. Next batter, Pilar Harden. Can you say back to back? Yes, sir. Into left center field, four to nothing. Saints on top now, and they're looking strong. But in the top half of the fourth inning, here comes the Bears. Two on, two strikes, two outs, and it's Megan Laxton, a three-run homer off the foul pole and left. 4-3 to three now is our score. Top half of the fifth inning. Bears aren't done yet. A couple of ground balls to the right side. One just guns, gets under the wicket of Catherine Martin. 5-4 to four, Lenore Ryan. But here's Callie Fernandez. She wants a piece of the pie into left center field. Home run for Callie Fernandez. Two-run shot. 6-5. to five. Saints back out in front. But here comes the Bears again. Are you kidding me? Top of the sixth inning. Jody Mizell, an RBI single, falls in front of Victoria St. Clair. And we are tied up at six apiece from there. Lenore Ryan would add a couple of home runs by Co Carly Carpenter and Sarah Atkins in the latter innings. North Georgia would get another dinger from Callie Fernandez. She would finish the day four for four with two homers, but it's not enough. Saints fall in game one, nine to seven. On Saturday, the Saints are staring elimination in the face. They got to win two on Saturday to go to the College World Series. Top half of the first inning, first at bat, Ansley Williams into left field. A solo blast, and the freshman wanting to make her first College World Series appearance in Salem, Virginia. She gets the Saints on top, one to nothing. Bottom half of the first inning, the Bears will respond. Haley Jarman into right field, over the head of Kayla Martin. Two Bears come in, and Lenore Ryan on top. 2-1. to one. Kmart now at the dish. She wants to go into left center field. Adios, the senior with a blast. We're tied up at two apiece, and the slugfest continues here between Lenore Ryan and North Georgia. Bottom half of the third inning, Carly Carpenter. She gets a hold of one into left center field. Sarah Phillips trying to keep it in the ballpark, but she cannot. 3-2. to two. Bears regain the lead, but the Saints would get that run back. Catherine Martin saying, hey, Kayla, you're not the only Kmart that can go yard. A solo shot ties it back up at three apiece. From there, though, a little bit of small ball by Carly Carpenter, Jody Mizell, and the Bears. Three runs come across. They're on top six to three in the bottom half of the fourth inning. So we go to the top of the fifth. Saints need an answer. How about Natasha Valimza, another senior? See you later. Two-run shot. It's a one-run ball game. Did the Saints have a run in them? A couple of batters later with two on. Polar Harden says, yes, we do. Big shot in the left field. A three-run blast. Saints back in front. Eight to six, and they don't look back from there. Both teams will trade a run, but Jessica Cohen in the defense. Enough to get the job done late. And North Georgia a winner. Nine to seven in game two, forcing a game three. It's winner go home time. The winner of this one goes to Salem. The loser packs it in for the offseason. Saints and Bears going at it in game three. Jessica Cohen bringing her A game as she was pretty lights out, giving up just three hits and had six strikeouts in her performance in game three. We're scoreless going into the fourth inning. Hillary Cox a pinch hit and a pass ball is going to allow a base runner to come home as St. Clair comes racing home for North Georgia. And then Ansley Williams, a single to left. Kayla Martin will come racing home to score. Saints on top, two to nothing. Things looking good till the top half of the fifth inning. Megan Laxton, she homered in game one and she'll homer again here. This time a solo shot, two to one. Lenore Ryan right back in it. But then in the bottom of the fifth inning, the floodgates would come wide open. Callie Fernandez, a ground ball to second, gets under the glove of Carpenter. That'll bring a run home. Cox sent a ground ball over to short. Bobbled by Rivers. Another run comes home. Bases loaded. Ansley Williams into right center field. Grand slam. Her 14th home run of the season. And North Georgia busts it wide open. 8-1. to one, And the party is on for the North Georgia Saints. In the bottom of the sixth inning, the score now 8-2. to two. Sarah Johnson into right center field. It's going to go 9-2. to two. Saints one run away from the run rule victory. It's Polar Harden. And it's gone. North Georgia going to their third consecutive NCAA Division II College World Series. The mob is on, Pilar Harden on the bottom, Katie Garrett on the top, and North Georgia going to the College World Series. Pilar 
with a hug for her dad, Chris, as the Saints will celebrate Mike Davenport. Gonna get the Gatorade shower as North Georgia going back to the College World Series. Near final in Game 3, 10-2. North Georgia has 12 home runs in the series. Here's a look at some of the weekend's best performers. Ansley Williams goes into her first ever College World Series with a hot bat, 6 of 12, 7 runs driven in. Pilar Harden, 3 home runs. She's now got her average up at 305. Jessica Cohen, a win, 14 innings pitch, 17 strikeouts. And Callie Fernandez was 5 of 11, 2 home runs, and 4 runs driven in. Congratulations to the North Georgia Saints, the 2011 Southeast Super Regional Champions. A soft now to the College World Series, awaiting first on Thursday at 5 o'clock, Indiana, Pennsylvania. Bring it home, ladies.